Okay, so I was asked on Reddit and uh, also by my corp to demonstrate scan probe theory, essentially. So basically this will cover how these probes actually work and what you can do to improve your chances of getting a positive hit. So, we find a good spot here. Okay, so my corp has already bookmarked a couple positions. And I'm going to use this one right here just because it'll be easier to demonstrate. The way deviation works, uh, the probe can deviate up to half of its range. So if we look here, my, core, my probes are set to uh, 4 AU, which means their deviation can be as terrible as 2 AU. It could be 2 AU off. But uh, if you look at my ship, I have all sorts of handy little rigs here. These little mods, uh, basically they improve my uh, chances of getting a smaller deviation. And pinpointing will also reduce your maximum deviation. Uh, it's not actually possible to determine what your real deviation will be because that math isn't known to us. But I will explain how probes work and how you can uh, try and capitalize on uh, your known deviation. And with the knowledge of how the probes actually function, you'll be able to scan faster. So there's three hits you can get that aren't ideal. And that's a large bubble, which will be demonstrated by this. A large bubble, a ring, a double hit. Uh, if you do a, a good hit, you'll get a single dot or a yellow arrow. Oh, it's a safe. Let me try that again, except a little less retarded. Watch it be a safe, too. Okay. <laughs> So if you get a large red bubble, what you're seeing there is only a single probe hit. And the way probes function is that if uh, only a single probe lands on it. Well, the way probes function is they say this anomaly is this distance away from me. The signature is this distance away from me. So if only a single probe hits, I forget which probe this is. If only a single probe hits, it's going to report a large bubble and say, hey, it's this far from me. Obviously, it's not reporting the correct distance because your maximum deviation is 2 AU. And this looks to be pretty fucking close to the edge of that. So, conversely... Oh, uh, based on where the rest of these probes are, because you know the large bubble only means one of them hit, the area that only this bubble covers is the only area where that signature could possibly be. So if I didn't know where this was, I would be looking at everything in this red range right here. But since that extends beyond the actual fucking probe's possible scanning range, I know it's... I'm going to use this bubble's range instead of the red bubble's range. Which I generally would do anyway. So if uh, I got a hit like this, what I would immediately do is look at where it is. I would place it center to that, and I would drop to another half of my scan range. As you can see, that puts it really close to the center. That's uh, well within four probes hitting. So, the next scenario would be if you hit with two, like this. Now, when you hit with two, again, the probes are going to say, hey, it's this far from me. Here in a minute, when I get a visual aid, I'll show you exactly how you can apply this to be useful. Okay, so these are the two probes that hit it. Now let's just say for shits and giggles, well that's actually pretty close to it, both of these are saying it's 1.8 AUs away. So this one's saying it's 1.8 AUs away. Just a little bit better here. If it were the only probe that hit it, it would give you a red bubble like this. And you say it could be anywhere in this area, but because there's two, it can do this. It could say, okay, I know it can't be over here, or anywhere over here really, because this one's also saying that it's 1.8. So a ring is built. Everywhere on this ring, everywhere on this ring is 1.8 AUs away from both of those probes. That's why you get a ring. So if you take the entire group of probes into account with this, 
you'll see that you'll know that everywhere that both of these bubbles, these two bubbles, hit, could be where it is, but none of the rest of the bubbles can be touching the area, because if they did, you wouldn't get a ring. So you know that this area right here, where this ring touches this arc right here, is the only place it could possibly be. So armed with that knowledge, I would bring my probes over to it, drop a resolution, and as you can see, that's right on fucking top of it. So the third scenario we can get is if you get three probes on it. Let me find a good spot to do that. You know what? Yeah, we'll do that. Right there. Bitch, set up. that'll hit it. <laughs> hey, we got doubles. These are the three bubbles that are hitting it. So basically what's happening here is the same thing that's been happening. Let me get a good plane going on here. There we go. So all three of these bubbles are saying it's this far away from me. This is uh, what we're just going to go with 1.75. It looks roughly that distance away. So 1.75 AUs away. So based on that, because it's a three-dimensional space and we only have three points of reference, you can say uh, if all three of these are seeing it at 1.75 away, then it comes to a point, but it also comes to a point on the other side of them. So you get two dots, because they're both reporting the same distance, and there's two possible locations where that distance could be, where 1.75 away from everything is true, in two different locations. But, if you're bringing all the probes into the equation, you add a double, so that means only three probes hit it. This is the only location that occurred in. Over here, many, many more bubbles hit it, you're looking at like five, six. So, based off of that knowledge, this arc right here is the location where it could hit not over here, so I would go directly on top of that bubble right there. So I'd bring, or this uh, red dot, so I'd bring everything on top of it, drop down a res, I might even drop down two, and I'm going to be able to hit that with 100%. If you have more than three bubbles on it, you will get a single dot. Uh, I shouldn't have brought it in so tight because I can show you yellows, but it doesn't matter. So that's the way scanners work, the way probes work, and uh, armed with that knowledge, you should be able to capitalize on what you see and better, as you saw from the size of the arcs based off of one of them or two of them or three of them, three probes being on target, um, you can see that each progressively better scan actually is better and isn't just something arbitrary where you have to move your shit around not knowing what you're doing. There is a science behind it. It's just a matter of understanding it so that you can apply it. Hopefully this helped a lot of you out. Uh, if you have any further questions for me, I am a wormholer. I do scanning every single day. Post, it, post your question on the Reddit, address me directly in game, or comment on the YouTube video, whatever your heart desires. Thank you for watching.